Hello, welcome back. So we're doing more of the dreadful crimes, uh, but we're not being um, started off with the two, well, the chap and the kid. Weird. Hey, someone help! Some trap found something down there. Looks like foul play. Track march. I should return and find out about this. Matthew Killian. Where's this other clue? Thank God for strike guys. Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. Wow. <laughs> there you go. I heard a splash, and right quick pulled this bloke out of the shallows. Dead as a mackerel. I live there now, if you can call it living. I lost my job, didn't I? No need for the likes of me when a machine can do the work. Yeah, a lot of people like that. Coach like that on a dead man? What do you expect? I snatched it before somebody else came along to nick it. Like you. Hmm. The midnight train, that must be the 616, stops in the station down the road. If you hurry, it might still be there. Okay, train station. Which is where? Wow, a long way off. I am walking there. That's a girl. Let's 
Still trophy hunting. this I should ask more questions hmm. I should return and find out about this nothing unusual at all I had a drink with some gents and then retired to my sleeper. Someone slipped a note under my sleeper door a few minutes before midnight. It said I should come to the dining car. I went, but only Ryan and Wolf's man were there, and they were both drunk. The rich fella, I did talk with him. Very charming. But a single woman has to be careful, you know? Did something happen to him? slips my mickey. I take them back to my sleeper and they nod off before I have to do anything shameful. They wake up thinking they had a night of fun and had me a few quid. That's what happened with Mr. Killian, but he was gone when I come back from looking for the man who left the note. Okay. That did go weird though. I 
felt unusually tired and came back here to get some sleep. Sam, he's a trusted valet. He's terrifically strong, which makes him useful in many situations. I suppose there were some disagreements, but there always are when a great deal of money is involved. You mean the young lady? She and Killian hit it off famously. Embarrassed, really. Okay. Oh, it's on the roof. God ding, boys. Some noises on the roof woke me up briefly. You say someone was thrown from up there? You'd have to be a very strong fella to drag someone up onto the roof. Yeah. <laughs> Vivian had another of her dupes in her compartment by then. After that, I remember people going past me from time to time, but I was half asleep. Killian was on this train. Cool. I used to work in his foundry. I never even seen him. None of us workers ever knew what he looked like. That one. Clever little minx. She and the bomb had got a little scam going. I think everyone on the staff knows about it. Okay. Containing steaming pills, it's half empty. That's in this. I should ask more questions. That's the Mickey. Uh, Killian's left to close an enormous business deal in Wales. So Killian is one after replacing workers with machinery. It's likely it's Killian in the paper. Right. Passenger car. Around midnight, Vivian ran through. She thought someone was looking for her. Just another wealthy passenger. They're all pretty much the same. She rides the train often. She's very friendly with the other passengers. Speak with this dude. <coughs> when I can actually see him. came in and had a sort of business meeting. One of them was buying a lot of drinks for the other, and then they started to argue. But Vivian went over and joshed them out of it. Oh, uh, well, it's a noisy train. Let your passengers have trouble getting sleep, so I keep setting it here behind the bar, yeah? Uh, no. Nice bloke. Came here after being sacked from a foundry a few months ago. I tell you, he looked white as a ghost after he served the businessman. Is Peter. She 
She's a frequent passenger, that one. Hangs about with the wealthier sort. Likes to entertain them, if you take my meat. Yeah, I help Vivian fleece the dues. I slipped a pill in the wine for the table. Both gents got sleepy, but Vivian picked the richest one. several years. He's frail and needs a man like me to help him about. Alright, it's Peter. Because he's been sacked by someone that used his machinery and Killian uses machinery. I gave him what he deserved. The man was heartless. Industrialist Matthew Killian was drugged and thrown from the top of a moving train by his former employee Peter Jespers, put out of work by the mechanisation of Killian's factory. Peter found employment as a humble train steward, however one evening Peter realised that Killian was on the very train prior to this journey. Peter had never seen Killian, but now recognised him from a recent newspaper article. Peter, knowing that frequent passenger Vivian often swindled wealthy passengers, waited until she lured Killian to her a compartment. He cunningly arranged for her to be called away by means of an anonymous note. Peter then used his considerable strength, strength to lift the drug magnet and drag him to the roof of the train, whence he threw him to his death at midnight. Killian's rival, Angus Wolfe, had hoped to get Killian so inebriated as to prevent him from participating in a business meeting on the following day, but Wolfe himself fell afoul of the drug brandy and slept through the entire episode. As for Peter the murderer, perhaps he melted a out, uh, perhaps he meted out justice in turn. He will now meet justice himself. <laughs> bum, bum. See, still missing the bum bum. One of one. Two, where's the other one? Where's the next one? Country lamp I kill in, in Westminster. Okay. Right. Two more to go and then we're done. Right, I will see you next time for more Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Thanks for watching.